Oh boy, oh boy. Here we go. IGN states, 10 to 15% of all US PS5s estimated to have been resold. Scalpers have made an estimated $43.2 million in profit. 10 to 15% of all PS5 sold in the US are estimated to have been resold, earning huge profit for scalpers according to a new report. Data in, uh, engineer Michael Driscoll posted the latest in a series of reports on the scalping market, this time focused on PS5. The report scrapped data for thousands of listings on eBay and StockX up until January 16th. Among other things, Driscoll included listings that had actually sold excluded any listing using terms commonly included in scam listings, excluded listings from low feedback accounts, and removed all results that sold for less than the recommended retail price. Driscoll was left with a figure of 157,000 PS5 sold at retail price or higher on eBay and StockX, 7.06% of all 7.06% of of okay the 2.067 million PS5s estimates VG charts estimates were sold in the US up until January 16th. Driscoll then looked into active listings on services such as OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, and Craigslist, coming to the conclusion that a likely 10 to 15% of all PS5s have been resold in the US. On eBay and StockX, the most recent estimated average price for a digital edition PS5 is $799, while a disc edition is $849. Driscoll estimates that scalpers have made $43.2 million in profit during that time, with eBay, PayPal, and StockX making a combined $15.9 million as a result of the resale. So yeah, scalpers have bought up a whole whole ton of PlayStation 5s. A whole ton. A, a big portion of PlayStation 5s in the U.S. have went to scalpers. making that They have made over $43 million in profit. Over $43 million in profit. They are selling these PlayStation 5s and they're selling the, you know, reselling the Xbox Series S and X as well for outrageous prices. Insane prices. Sometimes even double the, you know, retail price. I mean, hell, hell, the digital edition is is three ninety nine or four hundred dollars. You might as well say they're selling it on, you know, the estimated average price is seven ninety nine or basically eight hundred dollars straight up. That's double. That is double the price. It's absolutely outrageous. <sighs> People want to come at me with the argument. Oh, supply and demand. Just just stop. Just stop. I don't think that this is supply and demand whenever a store, you know, a retail store has a, a, a clear, a clear message. Only one per customer, one per customer. Whenever you use bot software to purchase like 20 for yourself so that you can resell them, that is not one per customer. That's not following, you know, the message that's not following the so-called rule, I guess you could say, that these retailers are putting in play. This this isn't supply and demand, so shut up whenever, you know, just, so just shut up. That argument is invalid. Scalping with these uh, next-gen consoles have, or, well, current-gen consoles now, have uh, have been ridiculous, man. And it sucks because I know this is a very hopped-up product, and I know a lot of people want, you know, a PlayStation 5 and a new Xbox, but with scalpers... They're making this difficult to even get a PlayStation 5 and a new Xbox. Hopefully this will end soon. You know, stock will greatly, you know, will, will rise. Will rise to massive limits, right? You know, who knows? Maybe at the end of the year, they'll have like 20 million PlayStation 5s out there for people to go pick up. I don't, I don't know. It's, I don't even know if 20 million is uh, possible, but we can only dream, right? <laughs> we can only dream. Anyways, though, if y'all enjoyed this, please, you know, go ahead and smash like. Tell me what y'all think about this down below in the comments section. I enjoy getting on there and just reading y'all's comments because I enjoy replying to some of them, and then there's some that I just kind of point and laugh at. Thank you for tuning in. I love y'all. Stay beautiful. Do not go ugly on me either. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.